Hey gang, just one quick note before we get started, and that is to say thank you to my wonderful Patreon supporters out there. Because of you guys, I've now reached my second fundraising milestone, which means that absolutely everybody who watches my channel now will get to get a uh, mega ambitious video, like the one you're about to watch, uh, sitting in their YouTube feed every month. Uh, so we're going to get it started with uh, VTG Explained. So uh, on with the show. Vulcan Tech Gospel, or VTG, is a system for understanding movement and transitions in a two-prop environment. It's named for the Vulcan, a complex of artist lofts in East Oakland that was home to the people that created and developed this system. While it's a very comprehensive system, it can also be very confusing if you're studying it on your own. This video will attempt to provide a simplified explanation for VTG that will help you make sense of the many resources out there for it. We're going to do this by covering the two core concepts of VTG. That is, timing and direction, and how it relates to transition theory, and basic flower patterns. VTG uses four timing and direction combinations. They are together opposite, together same, split opposite, and split same. Though each looks distinctive, you can think of them as being made up of points when the hands come together or separate. The points we're looking for occur at the very top, bottom, and far sides of each pattern. VTG uses this property to create simplified glyphs to represent each timing and direction combination with dots standing in for the hands. For example, in Together Opposite, the hands and dots are apart at either side, but together at the top and the bottom. In Together Same, the hands and dots are together at all four positions. In split opposite, the hands and dots are apart top and bottom, and together when they are on either side. And in split same, the hands and dots are apart at all four positions. Now, the cool thing about this property of timing and direction is that each combination shares two positions with different combinations. We can use these positions to transition between them. Let me show you what I mean. When I'm performing together opposite like this, my hands come together, top and bottom, and they separate out to the sides. Thus, when they come together either top or bottom, I can switch into together same, where they're held together in all four positions. Now if I wanted to, with my hands on either side, I can switch into split opposite by having my hands come apart top and bottom. Now when my hands are top and bottom, I can switch into split same, where my hands are separated the entire way around. When my hands come around side to side split, I can also switch back into together opposite where I started. This series of transitions we just went through can be thought of as something similar to the circle of fifths in music, a roadmap for how we can get from where we are to where we want to go and not be stuck in the same timing and direction forever. Frequently, the glyphs for each timing and direction are written together in such a way that the parts they have in common overlap to make the transitions easier to understand. You can go through this same series backwards, or decide to return to a timing and direction you've already done. The only transitions that are forbidden are going directly back and forth between the split time and together time versions of a given direction. Because whether it's opposites or same direction, the split time and together time variations have no positions in common. We can also think of our props as having a timing and direction relative to each other. And thus, the series of transitions that we just learned also applies to them. It should be said that this is much easier with rigid props, such as staves, than it is with a non-rigid prop, such as poi. But this is where our flower patterns come in. All flower patterns that we perform with any given prop have a certain shape that they create over time. This shape will change depending upon whether the flower is anti-spin, in-spin, and depending upon the number of downbeats that it has. Flowers that have the same number of downbeats, regardless of whether they're anti-spin or in-spin, are essentially inverted versions of each other, even though the shapes they create may look nothing alike. There's a really long and complicated explanation for why this is, and if you're curious, you can go check out the series of Poi math videos that I have linked to in the description of this video. For the purposes of this video, we're just going to focus on the three beat patterns, and you'll need to know the in-spin version is a two pedal. We can perform this either with the pedals at the sides, or top and bottom. The anti-spin 3-beat is a 4-pedal anti-spin. We can perform this either with the pedals on diagonals, called box mode,
or top, bottom, and to either side, called diamond mode. Just like with timing and direction, each of these four patterns has transition points that we can use to jump between them. Unlike timing and direction, these transition points are a result of the prop facing inward toward the performer or outward away from them at each of the same four positions around the body. For example, in a two-pedal inspin with the pedals on the sides, the poi is pointed inward towards the performer on each side, just like they are in our anti-spin box mode flower. We can make the transition between the two by simply changing the direction of our hand on the side when that poi is pointed towards us. Looking for these moments when the poi is pointed inward or outward allows us to get between all four patterns. For example, if I'm doing two pedal inspin with the pedals on either side, I can change the direction of my hand when it's off to either side and switch into a box mode four pedal anti-spin flower, like this. Now when my hand is top or bottom, I can switch the direction again to get into a two pedal inspin with the pedals oriented top and bottom. Finally, if I switch the direction of my hand when it's out to either side, I can switch into a diamond mode four pedal anti-spin. And finally, when my hand is top or bottom, I can change the direction of my hand one more time to switch into that two pedal inspin with the pedals oriented to either side. You'll note, just like with timing and direction, these transitions take us one by one through this series of patterns. Now let's integrate what we've learned, combining what we know about timing and direction transitions as well as what we know about pattern transitions, creating a series that will involve both hands as well as both poi. First, now that we have two poi to work with, that also means that they can be performing two different patterns at the same time. For example, if I want to see all of the combinations that can go with our inspin that has side pedals, I find that there are a total of four. That pattern with itself, that pattern with the inspin that has top and bottom pedals, and that pattern with each of our two anti-spins. We're now going to take what we know about timing and direction, as well as transitions between flower patterns, to find a way to perform each and every one of these combinations in a smooth series. Now, because there's so many pieces in play, there's a multitude of ways that we could do this. I'm going to set two very simple rules to make it simple for me as well as for you. Those two rules are going to be that only my right hand is going to change direction through the course of this series. The second rule is going to be that my poi are always going to be turning and together same. First, let's look at this series of transitions in a computer simulation. Each hand in poi is represented by a different colored poi head. Starting in together same with each hand performing our inspins with side pedals, we can change the direction of the right hand when both poi are pointed down, switching that hand into a diamond mode anti-spin. This also means that the hands are now in together opposite instead of together same. See how the transition switched both the flower pattern as well as the timing and direction of the hands? Next, we're going to switch the hands to split same. This is going to occur when they're separated out to the sides and results in the two different inspin flowers being performed at the same time. The right hand with petals top down and the left hand with petals on each side. Now we're going to once again switch to contrasting our inspin with an anti-spin, but in box mode. We do this by changing the direction of the hand at the bottom of the pattern. Finally, we're going to return to where we started by reversing the direction of the hand at either side of the pattern, where both poi heads are pointed inward towards the performer. Because timing and direction changes, as well as flower changes, both require the hand to switch direction, we can put the two together to smoothly create transitions such as this between a multitude of patterns. This is how VTG works. Now, let's see it done in real life. I'm going to start off with my two hands performing together same, like this, with my two poi both performing two pedal inspin flowers with the pedals on either side of my body. Now I'm going to switch my hands into together opposite when both of them are reached down towards the ground, like so. What that does is it switches my right hand into performing a diamond mode four pedal anti-spin flower. My left hand hasn't really changed much at all. Now I'm going to switch into split time same direction when my right hand is out in front of me, right there. Now you'll note that my right hand is performing a two pedal inspin with the pedals top and bottom, and my left hand, once again, hasn't really changed much at all. I'm going to switch into split opposite 
when my right hand goes down towards my feet again, like so. Now my right hand is performing a box mode four pedal anti-spin, while my left hand, once again, is still performing that two pedal end spin with the pedals on either side of my body. To get back to where I started, all I have to do is change the direction of my right hand on either side of my body to bring it back into together same and my poi back into performing a two pedal end spin. A couple things to note. The timing and direction of my poi always stayed the same despite the changes in my hands and the different combinations of flowers I went through. This might have changed if I'd instead decided to throw some stalls in. You can do this same type of transition exercise only changing the pattern in your left hand, or alternating between your left and right hands, or with your hands in poi in different timing and direction combinations. For example, your hands in together same and your poi in split time same direction. The choice is yours. We've covered a lot of ground in this video, but we still barely scratched the surface of everything that this framework covers. You can begin to explore more by trying out different timing and directions with your hands as well as your poi and seeing what patterns they create for you. Be prepared though, this kind of exploration tends to expand exponentially, creating many, many more avenues than you even knew existed. One handy tool for this is to actually create a worksheet for yourself, crossing off every different type of pattern, transition, etc. that you can come up with and seeing which ones you haven't yet tried. You can also find more resources for Vulcan Tech Gospel either by visiting noelye.com or by going to the Vulcan Tech Gospel Facebook group where you can find a whole lot of charts and other great resources to help you on your journey. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please sign up to support these videos at patreon.com and I will be more than happy to produce them. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. This video right here was made thanks to the kind contributions of these folks right here. They found me at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signed up to make a contribution every month. By doing so, they got access to a whole bunch of extra footage from the videos that I put out every month, plus which a number of really awesome rewards. If you or anybody that you know has learned something from one of the videos that I've put out, please consider going to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up to be a supporter. Thank you.